Oh, morning everybody, it's Smash Your Golf Handicap here again. And uh, wow, it's been such a busy couple of weeks, but I uh, wanted to uh, do an analysis in the last couple of days. Uh, I went down to the driving range on Wednesday, and uh, my friend Gavin, who's a pro um, and teacher, he, he wants to try and get me to this more of an upright position uh, with my... Um, right arm a bit more vertical um on my on my backswing like hunter mayhan here and i think that hunter is kind of not on full swing there well that's what i'm hoping anyway <laughs> anyway i just wanted to go through a little bit of this journey um about this backswing and just talk talk through it really and see what impact it's having and um, it's really useful advice that Gavin Forsyth has been giving me so if you can um, add him to your Twitter his Twitter is at Gav Forsyth Golf you can find it on my channel um, on, my, on my Twitter so just go onto my Twitter and then uh, follow Gav because he's a very good teacher and he's really trying to help me at the moment I really appreciate it uh, so this is the Nirvana position with the the right hand vertical and uh, so I wanted to go through a quick journey on that. So this is one that um, Gavin has had a look at on North Shore and he's saying that my right arm is too angled. So let's have a quick look at the positions on this one. Um, let me put a line in here for swing plane, as I always do. I'm a little bit squatted in my stance here i think probably I want to be a little bit more upright but it's another matter anyway so pretty happy with the uh swing plane takeaway here it's kind of on plane it's a little bit above but not really a problem and then when i get to the top position here as you can see my arms are very much kind of on like a 45 degree plane so this is what I've been trying to work on um, on Wednesday f um, to see if I can improve my flexibility. Anyway, when I come down on this shot, uh, I'm coming fairly neutral. Apart from my hands are very um, away from the body here. And this particular shot, I'm de-lofting the driver a little bit on this uh, by moving my body forward too fast through the ball at this point I need to be more behind the ball uh, in order to get a better trajectory I'm actually getting a good run out to about 280 on a decent drive um, but I think with a little bit more angle uh, I could probably improve that and uh, my flexibility is better going through um, but yeah so that's what I've been working on so when I went down to the driving range I, I had a look at a couple of these so let's have a quick look at um, some from then so this is obviously I've got it in my head that I need to do that so I remember this this kind of 45 degree thing from last time let's have a look at this this is the start of my session I'm standing a little bit more upright here, which I'm happy with. I want to just push my back back a bit. Um, I'm a bit crouched over here, so I'm also working on maintaining a better back position. Um, and let's have a quick look at the swing plane on this. So in my head, I'm working on that Hunter Mayhem position with this. So again, swing plane is on plane. Uh, a bit above and then it's this position that I'm as you can see it's starting to work its way a little bit more um, more than it was anyway <laughs> I'm not a very flexible person so it's fine in this position when I further swing back it cramps in a little bit because um, of my flexibility and I've found in order to change this angle of my right arm, I've got to really pin it into my side 
uh, in order to get a more vertical position. So this is the start of the session. Um, and this one is still a little bit um, over the top, but it's fairly neutral. And, and I come into this pretty straight. And this was a 7 iron, I think. It wasn't a bad shot, straight down the middle. And I felt like I got my arm a little bit further over, but I was looking for this kind of Nirvana position where you've got kind of it going across and then you've got it down like that, like Hunter, but just not flexible enough to actually get that position. So let's have a look. So this is when I'd had a look at the videos again and and wanted to do it even more pronounced than I did. So this, in my mind, I'm going even more pronounced with this one. So this is a further shot later. So, so look at this one. So this is, yeah. So there on that position, I'm trying to get even more angle with it, and I think this is the most I'm actually going to get it, um, because I just don't have the flexibility to um, to actually get it sorted out. I do a bit of a a twist with my wrists here which is interesting and then when I come back into the ball with this one um, again re relatively neutral this one's got a little bit of a, uh, a straight trajectory again I'm aiming for the middle of the posts so that wouldn't have been too bad a shot either anyway so Moved, then I moved on to the driver, so this is the start with the driver. <clears throat> Love doing this analysis, it's really, really good. And again, a little bit squatted there, but not too bad a position. Okay, so let's look at this one. The light's a bit poor on this, so I'm playing again with that. And when I'm going back this position doesn't seem too bad um, and then when I bring the swing further back it it squats it squats the shape a bit when I come into this shot like this knee is very bent in this which I'd like it to, to be a little bit straighter and come over the top here so I'm coming over the top with the driver on this shot and that causes it to kind of go this way and I'm up a bit early as well really at this position here I'd like my foot to be more planted at delivery when I've hit the ball there I've opened the face as you can see this foot is lifted already so need to be a bit maintain posture a bit longer on that one and as you can see on this, say if I, from when I'm on the ground, let's take it back to this and do my head position. So let's see what happens with the head position on this. So as I go back, I lift posture, not too bad at the back swing. And then let's have a look at delivery. So at impact, I am probably two inches different, which will cause it to go off the bottom of the club um, so. but my position on on my backswing to there I think um, you'll see is a little bit more shallow so pleased with the position just need to come a bit more from the inside on that one okay last one so this is my end shot with the driver let's take it back and that back on standing a bit further up obviously because I'm videoing these I'm watching them and so this is like I'm really trying here to to shallow off so I think that position there is the best I'm going to be able to get <laughs> with my flexibility unless I diet um, happier with the posture on this shot and then when I come through to the ball, I'm lifting a little bit here. Foot's coming off the floor. And that one um, was a toe to the left, I think. 
and just see position on this one. So let's have a look at head position. Okay. Maintain posture through the shot, which was great, and then when I came back to the ball, I really lifted off my foot and took my head quite high, and that's what caused it to toe to the left. As you can see, it's kind of going off in this direction at the moment. Anyway, so what I want to take out of it is that I've tried to, to get the Mayhan position, which is a lot more vertical with the right arm, uh, but currently I can't do it. <laughs> uh, so what I did this morning is I, I picked out a uh, picture of Patrick Reed instead. <laughs> so this one's of Patrick Reed and his arm is a bit more like mine. So <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to be Patrick Reed instead of Hunter Mayhem, if that's all right. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, if we if we do some analysis and try to work on things with video and on the driving range then I think you've got a much better chance of bringing your handicap down today I'm playing in workshop in Sherwood Forest so I'll feed back about how that went and hopefully do some filming of that as well so anyway thanks for following the channel hope that's been useful to you too got to maintain that position and try and get a bit more from the inside and shallow off that swing and right arm Anyway, it's all for now. Let's smash our handicaps together.